My guest today is Corey Anderson, owner of Anderson Distillery and Grill here in Roanoke. Uh, we're going to take a tour of the distillery today, but before we do, Corey, tell us the backstory of this place. Yeah, uh, so this is a place that me, my dad, and my brother uh, have opened. Uh, so we started out um, at farmer's markets selling uh, a meat rub, it was a coffee-based meat rub. And that's how we kind of got into the whole like restaurant side. And then when COVID hit, you know, we had to make a whole bunch of uh, hand sanitizer in our garage. And uh, so, you know, we had to, of course, you know, kind of go through all of that. And uh, yeah, so then that kind of just kept escalating and escalating. We started out with like a little pot still, and now we have this. Yeah, uh, we come from a whole lineage mm -hmm. of uh, moonshiners, mm -hmm. and just kind of took the family business professional. Let's take a tour. So uh, to talk about the distilling process, uh, so we start out here. This is called a mash tun. Uh, this is where I boil a whole bunch of corn, uh, and when you boil corn, it releases a whole bunch of starch. Uh, and then we take another grain called barley, which is malted, which just basically means that they take a bunch of barley seeds, let them grow uh, until they start like germinating, and then uh, they immediately cook them, and uh, that has a whole bunch of enzymes in it that allow all of the, or that help turn all of the starches into sugar. We take that over here to my lovely fermenters, uh, which, uh, which is where we put the, or we put yeast in them which uh, then the yeast eats sugar and poops out ethanol. So here it'll sit for about two days uh, until again all those sugars are converted into starch, or excuse me, all those sugars are converted into ethanol. And uh, so we take that, uh, and at that point it's about 8% alcohol-ish, uh, and then we pump it over here, uh, and this is my, uh, this still is not running right now, but uh, so this still uh, is called a stripping still. Basically our goal is to take all of the, the gook, like the dead yeast, you know, whatever extra little bits of corn, all these proteins, all that kind of stuff. Our goal is to take all of that and bump it down to uh, where we just have the alcohol, uh, where, you know, again, so we get to about 15 gallons at about 80 proof or 40% alcohol. Uh, and that's what this big still does. So then we take that, which is all this stuff, and we put it over here, and this is called a spirit still. And uh, a spirit still, you can see all, I have all my levers and my doohickeys and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I take my uh, 15 gallons again at about 40% uh, alcohol. And uh, here it boils, and this is where I have to do where it's called making cuts, which is where you kind of just like uh, different alcohols come out at different temperatures. You have to find the stuff that tastes good. Uh, and um, yeah, this is where all the spirits come out of. Corey, you guys are a full service restaurant too, so plug your food. Yeah, uh, so uh, we started out when we just opened with our uh, soft opening, we were just doing our sliders. Uh, but uh, now we have our full fledged menu. So we, uh, you know, hand batter, hand make uh, chicken fried steak, chicken fried chicken. Uh, we have the best meatloaf in town. Mm. Better than my grandma's? Dude, better than everybody's grandma. Oh, I, fighting words. You do, I'm just saying, like, I don't get why it's so good. I'm not a huge meatloaf fan. Yeah. But, like, it's what I get pretty much every day for dinner when I'm here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, like, weirdly good. Uh, and then we also do, uh, we make our own sauces for our buffalo wings and all that yeah. kind of stuff, which is also like, they're incredible. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so the, the, also the rub that we were talking mm -hmm. about earlier, uh, we put that on all of our like burgers mm -hmm. and chicken and all that kind of stuff and it, it's yeah. really good. I was told to order the uh, prime rib sliders, did I say that right? Yeah. You said you have to order them. Those are the best. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so it's, again, it's prime rib, it's Swiss, it's, it's a slider. Uh huh. It's kind of in the name, but it's <laughs> it's awesome. It's really good. Okay, cool. Well, look forward to trying that in a few minutes here. Uh, Court, it's been really fun learning about your distillery and restaurants. Um, come by, take a tour, and you know try some food, hang out. Uh, it's a really cool little spot in Roanoke. Yeah. And uh, soon the construction is going to be done. We're going <laughs> to access this place. You know. Oh my God! One day. <laughs> any year now, but I know it's a beautiful town. Uh, it, was, it was fun getting to know, getting to know you and. Uh, play your social media first so folks can follow you. Uh, yeah, so uh, just look up, it's like at Anderson Distillery on like Facebook and uh, mm -hmm. Instagram. Uh, and then we have our website and our newsletter and all that kind of stuff. So awesome. AndersonDistillery.com. Okay, it's been fun learning about you, Corey. Thanks for your time. Absolutely.